you have graduated or are about to graduate in the four year chemical engineering course and you are getting ready to enter the process engineering profession you must be anxious and at the same time excited for the interviews in this video i want to share with you seven ways to prepare and differentiate yourself from your peers in terms of the process engineering interviews you may be looking for jobs in multinational company epc managers local epc companies back office setup of big oil companies design department of production units or even some process and catalyst licenses please know that the epc multinationals that have set up high value engineering centers in the emerging countries basically to take advantage of the low cost engineering talent the number one lookout of the recruiting manager in these companies is that the new recruits should hit the ground running with minimum of training so let us proceed to the tip number 1 know the engineering work process the process engineer should know where he or she fits in the work process of engineering of a chemical plant how do the engineering specialist process the data sheets issued by the process engineers with whom does the process engineer interact with in the project task force these are the questions that if the process engineer knows he or she will be benefited in the interview tip number 2 you would have studied at least 20 subjects in your course but the most important from the interview point of view are the basics of fluid mechanics chemical process calculation basics of heat transfer process controls and some very basic thermodynamics please before the interview find out the company's previous and current projects know about the processes in those particular project number 3 try to learn about offsite storage and utilities facility every plant requires storage and utilities and the mnc's tend to offshore offsites and utilities work to the emerging countries all the professionals experienced in offsites engineering development have become indispensable due to their knowledge and experience in these systems now going to the tip number 4 try to learn about the process deliverables and activities you should be aware of process flow diagrams piping and instrumentation drawings design bases and various calculations involved in developing the process specifications as a minimum tip number 5 process safety if you can demonstrate the link between the process deliverables and the process safety involved in a particular unit it will be a good start it's good to know about the hazards the out, uh, outlines of major accidents and if you know about layer of safety and safety triangle concepts it is a bonus tip number 6 as a process engineer you may be very excited about steady state simulation packages but please be aware that most of the mnc's would do their simulation work in their home offices many of the detailed engineering work scope that many of the contractors execute do not have the simulations in their scope and all the production companies normally have de developed their simulation models for their processes yes knowing the simulation package is a plus but don't bank on it too much and finally the most important tip number 7 which is emotional intelligence the process plant engineering activity is a complex multidisciplinary effort and has multiple handoffs there will be many one to one meetings coupled with multiple reviews of the same document you will have to explain your work to your peers justify to your seniors clients operations team and delegate to other engineers and drafting personnel sometimes you may have to correct yourself based on the inputs given by various stakeholders you need to keep your attitude in the right way and finally the demonstration of the ability to work in teams ability to listen and ability to communicate will be the key to walk away with the appointment letter